Josh, how you getting on guys? Right, so I've gone through uh, a list of my videos and I'm going through the ones that seem to have the most likes and views. Um, probably the people that are struggling the most. Um, so let's see, so this is for the first half of January. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. I do apologise if things are late, but my brother has just gone into critical state into the hospital. But it's a very... <laughs> it's a very releasing energy to be honest but um, yeah okay so let's see so Taurus Sun Moon Rising or Venus or Jupiter so we have um, expansion which is um, thoughts and feelings it's kind of mystic it's kind of a mysterious card really this to me it's kind of like um, really uh, contemplate on taking a new direction you know but it's it's kind of action oriented as well, but it's not. It's kind of like a fixed action, but it's because the guy in this picture is not moving, but he's kind of like really contemplating on really going in a new direction because something from the past is literally fixed in its way. So actions from the past is literally kind of staying still. It's like a standing still of time, but moving forward in a new direction. Okay. So let's have a look towards Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I can't remember, I'm trying to have a look at my page. Um, yeah, you have a lot of deception. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for the first half of January. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for the first half of January. January! Look at January already. Well, so you... Someone... Okay, so we've got a few stories. So you've got... Because this is like a past and a future energy, okay? This is like a past and a future energy too. Um, someone is devastated, maybe, um, of stale emotions from the past. Stale emotions from the past. But the two of cups behind are kind of more brighter than the, two, than the three of cups that have been spilt. But it doesn't feel like... Um, at the moment, it doesn't feel like a, a real depressing energy. It's kind of more like, it's feeling more of a release because this is more like a new lease of life for someone. Um, because this is behind, someone could be behind you watching you going in a new direction and they're feeling the loss because you're going in a new direction or someone is cross watchers, some moon rising. Um, but one person is facing another person that's actually contemplating on um, travel, something across the sea, new direction, communicating, communicating across the world, wanting to communicate across the world, but someone is kind of left in the past that is actually worrying more about things that were built up from the past. This is more past life regression. If we look spiritually within this, this is kind of like, past life regression because this is like the dark passenger also that resides within karmic situations karmic patterns karmic people karmic partners karma in general but it basically means a dark passenger that has been residing that has been well so this is two cards you give me a run for my money again <laughs> so this is a dark passenger that has been attached to someone's back it's like a leech on someone's back it's like a piggyback rider that comes, um, I'm like a cool rider. <laughs> I don't know why I just come up with that song, which is Grease, right? Um, so you might have the tail of Grease Lightning. Um, but a dark passenger that has, like, it's like a piggyback rider that carries from ascension to ascension, from timeline to timeline to timeline. Can be um, five years, maybe. Five lifetimes, sorry. <laughs> or you could, it could have been going on for five years. Um, or seven years, maybe. Um, but this is, this is kind of like, um, you know, the, the dark passenger that rides on your back. It's like a piggyback rider, you know, that um, attaches itself to you of a low vibration, like a low vibrational person that, attaches itself to someone that wants to move in a new direction so when you connect this to past life it's some energy that has connected itself to you that keeps this energy as a low vibration too but this person here whoever this is is 
starting to detach themselves by walking in this direction. But this person is also trying to attach itself back to this person that's moving forward in this direction too. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Um, as an energy. But this could have also happened recently. Very recently. Because it's, it's also looking at the past. This way. <laughs> this way. Um, let's see. Towards some minorizing or Venus. Well, so you've got the first half of January towards some minorizing or Venus. Too many. Way too many. Thank you. Yeah. So something that could have been worked on. Um to be honest, the way I'm picking it up, because it's next to this energy here, it's kind of like a facing away of this person actually doing any work on themselves. So there's two scenarios. This person is actually working on themselves. This person could have been working on themselves completely and they're taking a new direction. This person may well not be working on themselves and that's why they're on a low vibration. And they're very much struggling at work, career, finances, and can be like emotionally broke because I'm picking up the person of of um, like rags and riches kind of thing. You know, don't shoot the messenger. That's just what I'm saying from the card of the image that I see in the card. Um, and is not working on themselves, and they've basically got themselves separated from themselves. They're kind of like not really in control of themselves. Um, so you've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or any energy, I see this as Pisces but I, because of the impickment of the illumination of the head but that's in the Rider Waite deck of the the illuminated one but then also Virgo because of the dark darkness in Virgo so either Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo or I'm not sure could be something to do with an old relationship, commitment or marriage. Um, let's have a look. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus for the first half of January. Thank you. Yeah. So, <coughs> someone is, well again, this lesson is about independence. Independence. Someone feels um, free, karmically free, karmically free. Someone doesn't feel karmically free, maybe, and someone does feel karmically free. So you've got a few scenarios. Um, sometimes I relate this to Scorpio or any fixed energy, but it's more of a release because the dropping of the coins. It's kind of. Um, it's it's like a very freeing energy, a lot of karmic work done, uh, healistic healer, you could be listening to a healer or you can be a healer yourself, um, you can be into meditation, um, feeling abundant within yourself or um, money coming in, um, very freeing energy of what I always try to teach people about, you know, love is this kind of energy because this... This is not a controlling energy, this is freedom, you know. When you're karmically free, you are um, you learn about ascension then, and this is kind of like a guide as well, you know, because it's freedom. Because love is a freeing feeling, it's not a controlling feeling at all. It's something that flows naturally as an ascension of what you can then build upon, you know. Um, but we'll see through the clarifying parts of the deck, but it seems to be different kind of stories. <clears throat> yeah, it could have been a lot of heartache in the past, and that's why now someone's feeling free, and they're wanting to collaborate and work with someone else, or they're just working harder on themselves. Uh, can be money, looks really good. Towards someone rising on Venus. Yeah. Someone has been left 
from the past and someone is now walking in a new direction to make a new love offer. Yeah, new direction. Waiting. Hmm. Someone could have been waiting from the past um, and they've left themselves out in the cold. Um, let me see. Yeah, because you've got someone that's free and single and it's kind of like free and single that's kind of thinking which direction do I go in now? Creatively or within love or... But I feel free, so I am free to choose which way I want to go myself because I... Because the two ones are action of like choice, but the one one that he has is kind of like pretty much ready to kind of go, yeah. Because it's like a freedom energy. It's kind of um, I'm free to travel. I'm free to go whichever way I please. But then you've got a conflicted energy here too. That's kind of um, it's because it's kind of like a crossing energy of someone facing that way and someone facing this way. But you've got no major arcanas. There's nothing heavy here, really. You've got no star signs, literally not. not. Yeah, so the overall energy is um, love, abundance. Where else have you got the word fortune and belief, that too. So it's all written. Um, there's really nothing to clarify, to be honest. <laughs> there's nothing major. Let's have a look at the Five of Cups. Wake up, Major. Well, that's Major. <laughs> that's Major. So you've got the tower. So the tower is rebuilding, probably, of someone's emotional self or destruction of their self. They're out of control, literally, and they are causing havoc in the home life. Or they're trying to rebuild themselves. Let's have a look at the tower. Please tell me about the tower. Wow heavy burden lies and deception could have Leo in their chart water sign that has Leo in their chart could be Leo rising because it said the sun is rising so Leo rising Ooh, let me see so you could have someone that is um, self-deceiving themselves and they have a Leo rising, but they're also interested in a Leo as well. Because what I'm picking up here is the, like the rising, is Leo rising, but they're also looking back at someone that has Leo in their chart or an old partner with, that is Leo. Um, an ending, definite ending. Mm. Can you tell me more about the sun, please? The sun. The sun. Thank you. Yeah. Three party. Hmm. Yeah, that's a very heavy energy I'm picking up. Very heavy energy. Because that's self-destructive. That's um, returning. Returning to also someone from their past. So you've got past life regression. You know, soulmate energy. They're not soulmates. You get karmic soulmates, which are chrysalises, which serve a purpose of growth. You know, um, so this is why it's very important about being self-aware self-aware aligning yourself with yourself so you realize who you are you know through attachment of what i was saying through that energy of um the dark the the hitchhiker um because that's like a hitchhiker as well that's someone that comes back in order to take more so probably watch the film the hitchhiker <laughs> um but it's a return but it's like a karmic return um, it could be a karmic return of someone that's just stuck on the past and lost in purgatory and they're just constantly in three-parted triangles trying to collaborate with more than one person. 
Yeah. Or working hard on themselves and trying to collaborate. But then you've got leapfrog energy again. The leapfrog energy. It's coming out as someone that doesn't stay. Yeah. Someone that doesn't stay. They're not honest at all. They're kind of like in and out. They come in and they go. Because you've got the seven of swords and you've got this energy which is like sex, passion, offering, offering lies and deceit, betrayal. Could be between uh, going between air signs, Leo, earth sign, water signs and fire in their chart too. But they ha they could well have um, been taking anything from like the home of anything that's structured within the home and just causing chaos. Um, which is obviously if you have a home and you have children, it causes like chaos within the home too. Because within the tower, you've always got more than one person that falls from it. So these are people, you know, there's people involved, families. Let's have a look at. Um, let's have a look. There's really not much more to have a look at. Let's have a look at the two of wands. Two of wands. Because you've got like, you've still got like this piggyback energy because you've got the seven of swords, which is like a, a return, but then a concentrated more on their past than something else that they've also got from their past. Someone else that they can't also forget that's the divine guidance of turning around because of divine guidance of something else that they've got built up to. So something that they've had built up from the past is just gone, dead and gone. But something else also that they've got built up is also dead and gone because they're concentrated more on the past. They're trying to return to their past and to you or them or wherever. It's such a heavy burden. It's causing such fucking destruction and chaos. And it's just a mixture of people. It's a, it's a, a past life energy piggyback rider that's kind of carried through through timeline after timeline. Let's have a look at the, the two of wands. The two of wands. Yeah, mo the mother. The mother. Wow. I mean, let's just hope there's not fucking pregnancy. <laughs> Because that's fucking, well, you're going to be in a gem. But, um, yeah, the Empress is like um, someone that's very wise, doesn't take any shit, and is also a leader, um, which is like the mother, which is, you know, the, the decision maker. You know, decision maker that makes firm decisions about taking a new direction. It's kind of like, you know, well, just fuck it, you know, you're just out of control, and I've got more better things to think of, of my family and my children, so... You know, you're not going to take anything from that anymore because you've done it through fucking years. <laughs> years. So I am now taking a new direction because I've found my own self worth. <coughs> um, so these are kind of split up into stories. So because of that, then someone's feeling single and independent and wanting to work with uh, harder with someone else. Yeah, feeling free and single. Um, wanting to, um, feeling fresh and new. You make me feel brand new. This is also like a guide, um, a healer, spiritual healer, because you've got that kind of a this do, holistic healer. So some of you could be listening to healers, or you, excuse me, or you can be yourself, you know. Um, let's have a look at the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, thank you. Yeah, world cycles. Um, wanting to offer someone across the world, uh, wanting to communicate, finding stability within themselves. Um, wanting to make, um, see, because this also talks about the internet, so finding something more grounded and stable than work across the internet. Um, but that's big because I'm seeing these energies as this, right? This is trying to find stability within two two big cycles, <laughs> you know. So 
So something that's very grounded and committed. He's, yeah, and you've got the fullback as well. So that's kind of like a guide. That's um, something to do with the internet. Could be YouTubers. Could be um, could be anything really. Could be uh, clairvoyants. Can be uh, tarot card readers. Can be guides, uh, light workers. Let's have a look at the world. The world. The world. Please clarify the world. Thank you. Yeah. Communicating, well, communicating, wanting to take a new direction passionately for their Ten of Cups, you know. So someone's definitely got a lot of love for someone. This is like fresh and new. I mean, you had the, um, the Fool twice, basically. So this is kind of like a guide. But this is also like fresh and new, something like a new beginning, a new fresh beginning because of doing a lot of fucking work, internal work, detachment, detachment. And that's the, the, that's the happy home life. That's like complete wish fulfillment, you know, finding alignment. So someone's got a big offer coming in. Yeah, made and made their own judgment call, making a complete judgment call. Complete like separation of soul, like um, detachment of dark darkness, detachment of dark passenger, and literally strip themselves bare of it all. Could have a lot to do with children and picking up the child in the middle there too. Um, fit being frozen in time for a very long time, being frozen in time. Um, let it go, let it go. <laughs> We have to let things go, you know, because you can't hold on to things. Have to learn release. Yeah, that's what we're here for, you know. But that seems like a very releasing energy. Um, let's have a look. What's the three of wands for? Three of wands. Please clarify the three of wands. Three of wands. Three of wands. So, I'm just looking because you had the lies and deception and the deceit, and you had this card before. So, someone is probably has more than likely been listening. Um, because I'm, I can't remember fully what your. Uh, let's have a look at the three of wands. Wow. Yeah, wow, manifesting anew completely and passionate new opportunity again, opportunity. So to me, the three of ones make the four with the one. So you've got happiness and structure and rebuilt. You've also got a guide, being more stable, grounded, committed, a uh, healer, also a healer. You've got that below this energy here too, so a healer. A lot of energy work being done, manifesting new directions, passionately. But you've got every element on the table now, the magicians here. You know. um, and love offer, going in the same direction, same direction. Could have a lot, a lot of things to do with travel, communication, worldwide kind of things, across the sea, across the border, or just self-love. You know, but you have a very strange mixed up energy here. But you'll know, you'll know where you are, Taurus. Um, yeah, something to do with people's past childhood memories, uh, past life regressions. You know, soulmate energy. But you know, not all soulmates are like they, like I say, they they class themselves as sacrifice. That's why you have to sacrifice them to sacrifice yourself. It's the great sacrifice. 